Yo, what's up, people? Welcome to the video. Talking about Star Wars today, and um, some some positive news because Star Wars has a track record of canceling projects, has a track record of um, putting projects on indefinite hold, which means you probably never see them. Um, and that's also what happened recently with Range of the New Republic, and that is now set to be absorbed into other shows, probably like The Mandalorian and stuff. But it also happened to Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron, which is... Um, I was really looking forward to it, but why it got put on hold, there's like... The reason they said <clears throat> was because of, um, like, scheduling conflicts and all, but after that, rumors also came out that... It was like um, she was not getting the script right uh, right the way she wanted it, so they ran into creative difficulties, and that's why it was put on hold. That's like a rumor out there. Um, <laughs> but news has come out that Patty Jenkins, who was working, I think, right now on, the, on like a Cleopatra movie, has left the project, um, has left the project to focus on Wonder Woman 3, and also again on rogue squadron so um yeah that's i think some positive news for star wars fans i don't know people were really looking forward to cleopatra i'm sorry it's still happening but like with somebody else uh like directing it i think right now um so yeah like leaving a project that you've been working on for a while um to also focus on a project that was indefinitely put on hold Gives me like good hopes that Rogue Squadron will actually see, uh, like see daylight, <laughs> and that he's committed to at least making the movie. Um, it does seem like Wonder Woman three has a main priority because um, uh, that was also set to release around December twenty twenty three, around the same time as Rogue Squadron, and because we only heard about uh, Jenkins leaving, like rogue squadron putting that on indefinite hold it only seems fair to assume that like wonder woman is still i think like on course to release around that time and probably rogue squadron is going to be uh a little bit later so yeah and i do wonder though if this will affect like um the other movies that are set to release after this one like the taika watiti movie uh the kevin feige movie which are, I think, set to release in 2025, 2027. But we will just have to wait and see if that really happens. Um, I am really looking forward to this, and I feel like there's uh, there's a commitment now to making Star Wars, uh, like Star Wars Rogue Squadron. And I just hope we don't get like a similar message in the future where it has been put on hold again because of stuff going on. I just, I just don't hope that will happen again. <laughs> But as much as I like Star Wars, as I, I not even like I love it, um, it tends to happen with Star Wars projects. <laughs> so this is a short video. I just wanted to share this. And that's about it. How do you feel about it? And do you think Rogue Squadron will actually be made? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.